Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. I'm excited. We are speaking about the four basics of learning to have stronger discernment. And we have looked at the first one. It's the renewal of your mind. We've looked at now the, the next one called the doctrine of righteousness. And now we're going to look at the one that everybody thought about when we really think about discernment. And that is the gift of the discerning of spirits. And that's what we're going to speak about today. The gift of discerning of spirits. Father, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gifts of the Spirit that is on the inside of the Holy Spirit, Lord. And I pray, Father, that even as we're going to speak today, that there will be an impartation, there will be an activation of the gift of the discerning of spirits in people. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you give according to the measure that God has allowed us to have. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, when we speak about discerning and discernment, we also think about discerning spirits. We looked at how we have to test the spirits, but today we're going to begin to look at the gift of discernment of spirits. And that is really where it gets, it gets supernatural. It is something that you cannot do, and it's something that I can't give you. It is something you need to receive from the Lord. You need to open yourself up. But I will pray for you. And I, will, I, I really believe there's going to be an impartation that's going to take place. And this gift, there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. When we go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 6, it speaks about the nine gifts. It says, There is a distinctive variety of operation of working to accomplish things, but it's the same God who inspires and energizes them all in all. So there's one Holy Spirit, but there are different operations of the Holy Spirit. He calls it the working to accomplish things, um, but the same God who inspires them and energizes them in all of us. Hallelujah. So I want to give you good news today. If you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, you don't have a big Holy Spirit or a small Holy Spirit. You, you have the same Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And so it's the same God, it's the same Spirit that is in you that was in Jesus. And so there are just different operations that He can operate and flow through. But sometimes there needs to be an activation of what is already there. It says, but for each one, verse 7, is given the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, the evidence or the spiritual illumination of the Spirit for good and for pro and to profit. So normally the gifts has to do with some kind of a manifestation of the Spirit. There will be a, a supernatural ability that you will have, and we're going to look at them quickly, and we want to, we want to see how different gifts of the Spirit all function together to help us with discerning in the Spirit. But we are looking specifically at the gift of the discerning of spirits. Okay, so he says, To one is given through the Holy Spirit the power to speak a message of wisdom. Now that's an interesting gift. It's called the, the gift of wisdom. And to another is the power to express a word of knowledge and understanding. That's what I'm very strong in, in a certain operation of the Spirit. Um, according to the same Holy Spirit, to another the working of wonder-working faith by the same Holy Spirit, to another extraordinary powers of healing by one Spirit, to another the working of miracles, and to another prophetic insight. And then the last one, he says, to another to discern and distinguish between the utterances of true spirits and false ones. And to another, there are different kinds of tongues. And to another, there's also the, in, the ability to interpret such tongues. All these gifts, all these achievements or abilities are inspired and brought, brought to pass by one and the same Holy Spirit, who apportions to each person individually 
as he chooses. Now, I've read this many years ago, and I thought, you know, how can this person have a, have a greater gift than me, and I have a weaker gift? But when I discovered the good news, I discovered that it actually means the portion that each person was given was the same. Hallelujah! We all have the gift of the Holy Spirit. But the gift of the Holy Spirit now is like a tree. And when the tree grows up, the tree begins to grow branches. And all these different branches all form out of the one stem coming out of the root of the tree. And so all of us have the same Holy Spirit. We have the same um, root of the tree, but it produces different branches as we allow them to grow up and flow out of us. So some of us have a tendency that are stronger prophetic, stronger in healing, uh, stronger in words of knowledge, stronger in uh, uh, prophecy, stronger in discernment of spirits. And there are amazing gifts in the world that I have come across that people are functioning in, in the gift of the discerning of spirits. Now, this gift can operate on different levels and in different ways. I will tell you how God has used me, and I will show you, I will tell you how He's used others also. And some friends of mine that are very strong in seeing in the Spirit. So you can see demons, you can see angels, and that is also discernment of spirits. So angels are also spirits. They are just spirits of, of heaven. And then you get unclean spirits, which are spirits of the underworld and spirits of the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And so uh, one of my friends, a very prophetic friend of mine, uh, he once was walking in a, um, in, a, in a shopping center. And as he was walking there, he suddenly, his spiritual eyes opened and he saw like spiders on the people and they were running all over the people. And you can think, well, that's ugly. But he saw these little demons next to people holding the people's hands. And people were holding these little demons' hands, walking with these demons in the street. And then he saw some baboons sitting on people, and they were like pulling the people's hair, and they were sitting on the people. And so that is another kind of discerning of spirits. He told us that same prophetic person, he told me how he was sitting in a church. And he saw the pastor standing, and he saw the Holy Spirit standing next to the pastor. And then the Holy Spirit went to sit down. And the pastor was preaching, and the Holy Spirit was sitting. And then every now and then the Holy Spirit will stand up, and he will stand next to the pastor, and for a while he would be there, and then he would go sit down again. He saw things like that. He saw uh, another one where he saw uh, the upper balcony of the church, and he saw the one guy jumping down out of himself, down to another person, down on the lower level of the balcony, and begin to murder and actually suffocate the other person down there. You know, the Bible says if we just hate somebody, we are murdering them. So we think that, well, that's just a scripture. He saw it, how it happens. When you are angry at people, you actually want to murder them sometimes. Sometimes we get so angry that we curse people by saying, I wish you break a leg. I, I, I wish this bad stuff over you. And you do not know what you are doing. You do not know that you are cursing a person by your thoughts, not only by what you speak, but even by your thoughts. And so there are a lot of spirits that can operate. Uh, now, I want to tell you how God uses me also. I do not always see them. I have seen some angels. I've seen Jesus. Uh, I have seen a dragon once. I've seen a huge angel in gold. Uh, I have... I've experienced some things that I saw in the Spirit, so God can use our spiritual eyes to see things. But then there's also the more natural way, and it's the way of sensing things around us. And we need to become mature in discerning what spirits are operating. And so God's given me the ability, and I want to just tell you there are these different gifts that work together. You have the word of knowledge, you have the word of wisdom and you have the spirit of discernment or sorry, the discernment of spirits. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> and these three gifts also operate together. So 
What is wisdom? Wisdom is the ability to know what to do and when to do it. And so when there's a spirit operating that's not supposed to operate, God wants to give us the wisdom what to do. Uh, spirit of discernment of spirits can show what spirit is operating. Word of knowledge will tell you how the spirit came in there and how to get that spirit out. So sometimes God will reveal to me, it will take me back into the past and he will reveal to me what has happened in that person's life. And then we can come and cut loose some lies that are familiar spirits that are holding on to our lives still. Hallelujah. But I've got good news for you. In Christ, all of the past is dead. When we're going to look at restoration of the gospel, we will see the power of understanding the truth. Amen. But we need discernment sometimes to be able to deal with those things that are operating. And so one of the things that God began to reveal to me, and I'm going to just give you um, briefly a breakdown, and you can come and follow me. Uh, we have a, a channel on a Telegram called uh, Morningstar Podcasts. And on that Morningstar Podcast, I've been teaching for over two years in terms of different spirits, uh, different ways of discerning, and growing deeper into that. So come and follow us there, and we will teach you much more to become more discerning of different spirits. But so, there is, we have a spirit body. And because I have a spirit body, my spirit body can pick up things in your spirit body. And so Jesus is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in me, and He is also in you. And the Holy Spirit knows everything about you. And so because He knows things about me, and you, and I'm in him, then I can know his mind. I can not only know his mind, I can even experience what's going on in your life. I can see things, I can discern things because of the Holy Spirit that I have been given. And so I want to activate in you, and I believe that's also part of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. What is the baptism of the Holy Spirit? When we are baptized, the Holy Spirit begins to overwhelm us and He comes forth out of us and over us. Hallelujah. And now my whole body is in the Spirit and I become more sensitive to things that are happening around me that penetrates the shield of the Holy Spirit coming in. The Holy Spirit is also like a sensor, like a radio sensor that will say, toot, 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 toot. It's like a, like a, it's like a submarine that sends out a, um, a signal and it touches something and comes back and tells me, that's what you what you found. And I'm sending it out and it comes back and I say, oh, that's what you found. And so I can send out signals and I can receive back information from the Holy Spirit to know what is going on. Hallelujah. I hope you're understanding. I hope it makes it uh, understandable and practical as I'm explaining it to you. So right now, I'm experiencing like a tingling in the back of my hair here. And... This is not always tangible to everybody who experiences it, but this literally means memories of the past. And so God is saying, I want to wash out memories. Sometimes I would have a finger, this finger will begin to pain. And God is saying, there's a critical finger and people are pointing the finger towards people. Uh, sometimes I get a pressure on, this, on my shoulder and it's literally like uh, one-sided. And that means there's an unequal yoke. Sometimes I get a pressure on the, on the shoulder in another way, and I got to grow in the Spirit as I became more sensitive to everything that I was sensing. Um, when God speaks to me about authority, He will touch my shoulder. Sometimes He would put His hand on my shoulder here, and He would just strengthen me. You know, when somebody encourages you, He puts His hand on your shoulder, and He, he strengthens me. I, I, I'm... I laugh about my uh, own uh, father-in-law. He uh, is deaf and he prayed one day and he told us about it. He said something was pushing him on the bum. And he thought, what is it? Who is there behind me? As he was feeling something pushing him on the bum. And uh, it literally means God says, get up and do it. So he's pushing him and says, go, go and do it. And so there's different ways that God speaks to all of us. It's all about a relationship. As we grow in that relationship with the Lord, 
where he begins to reveal things to us in the way that we speak to him. So I can't give my relationship to you. I can't give my gifting to you. I can impart something to you that will empower you to become more sensitive in the spirit. Hallelujah. And so I want to pray for you for that. Um, I just hear more things. God touches my knee and the knee, uh, it could mean pain in the knee, but it could also mean literally just bow the knee. And so when God says bow the knee, I would go down on the floor and I would begin to bow my knee before the Lord. And I would obediently do what the Holy Spirit said. So over the years, I became so obedient. When God says it, I do it. I don't even ask questions. I just know it is Him. And so becoming more and more sensitive that way, I've now tested this gift over years now by trial and error. And the better and better I become at it, the stronger my discernment grows. You see, we learned in the former week that He says, by practice, uh, we are training our spiritual senses. And so I want to begin to pray for God to just activate your spiritual senses today and that you will begin to practice your spiritual senses. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for spiritual senses, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you want us to become spiritually and acutely aware, Father, of anything that is not your Holy Spirit, that is not the truth, Lord. And I pray, Father, for a activation today, Father, of the gift of the discerning of spirits, Father, and the operation of that gift in people's lives. Open their spiritual eyes, open their spiritual ears, open their spiritual senses, Lord, even their their feeling sense, Lord, to be able to sense things in the Spirit, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. The Lord just touches my beard and I feel a, a beard and He says, I am the Father. So the Father is the beard and He says, I'm your heavenly Father and I love you. So I, He even touches my eyebrows, which is the thickness of the Father's eyebrows. And He says, I love you. I am your Father. And I want to reveal myself to you. Now my spiritual eyes open and I see the Father. And I'm seeing Him standing there in His, in his clothing, as a white clothing. And He's opening Himself up with His arms. And He says, run into my arms. Come, I'm your Father. Run into my arms. Yes, Jesus. Whoa, yes, Lord. You see, the, the moment I begin to engage in the spirit realm, I begin to, to look in the Spirit. I begin to hear in the Spirit. I begin to see. Now I, I see fear in my chest. And God says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to, to open yourself up and to learn to grow in the Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. For some reason, He's touching me right here on the, on the lip. Somebody has a pain in the lip. And God's just healing that lip right now. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes, Jesus. So the more sensitive you will become, you will realize it's not your things that you're experiencing, but you're experiencing things coming from the outside. Thank you, Father. He says, I'm healing people of rejection of people. And he's washing away all your feelings of rejection. And a Jezebel spirit is breaking you down and telling you that you are not worthy. So these are principalities these are powers that want to operate and they want to begin to take you away from God. So I break that, I bind that principality and I break that spirit of rejection and I command that spirit of um, Jezebel to leave you in Jesus' name. So I feel fire right now. So there's a sense of the fire of God and God is just releasing fire which consumes the work of the devil. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. So there are a lot of different things. The more you grow into the prophetic, and that's also what I become strong in, is the gift of the prophetic. It runs with the words of knowledge. It runs with the gifts of discernment and discerning of spirits. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And God says to me, this is where I raise up seers. 
This is where I raise up the next level of prophets. Oh, God wants to raise up some of you as prophets. Some of you wants to raise up as seers so that you would see in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Just receive right now. God's activating the gift in you of being able to discern spirits in Jesus' name. You discern things in the Spirit to become more aware of the Spirit environment around you and the atmosphere of things in the Spirit in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, every knee shall bow.